Hello and welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Mark McLemore. The Nutcracker made its official debut in Russia in 1892, but it wasn't until the 1960s that the ballet became a treasured part of the American holiday season. My guests from Ballet Tucson are prima ballerina Jenna Johnson and soloist Molly Hempfner. Both will play important roles in the Nutcracker at the Tucson Music Hall. Thank you for being here. So let's go back to the beginning and how the Nutcracker might have entered your consciousness, so to speak. Uh, perhaps it influenced your desire to become a dancer. Jenna, will you tell us? I think it is common that the Nutcracker is a child's first experience in performing uh, on stage in front of an audience, the, the entire realm of it, really. And it, it tends to be a very fun experience because it's all wrapped up in the holiday season. You're, you're there with your friends. You're, it, it, it keeps a lot of kids involved, I think. And there's a kind of cozy quality to the Nutcracker also for the audience. Um, tell me a little bit more. Molly? Yeah, so actually The Nutcracker was my very first full-length production that I'd ever seen. Um, I saw it before I started ballet, um, and I just remember seeing it and just being captured by the story um, and really the spirit of the holidays. Um, I think that the story really captures that as well. Um, and After I saw the production, I told my mom, I said, I want to do that. So um, for me, it's, it holds a very special, special place in my heart. Well, Jenna, you have a very special role in this ballet as the Sugar Plum Fairy. Tell us a little bit about what that means to you and what you're trying to convey through your dance. Well, it's, it's unique in that there, there's, a, there's an instrument used for, for the music for the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy that you really don't hear very often in many other places. I think he was, uh, Tchaikovsky was experimenting with it uh, initially when he wrote the score, and it's the Celesta. And it's, it, it gives it a very magical quality, mysterious and, and light, which is perfect for, for the interpretation of a fairy. And so you, you get the feeling when you're out there that you're, you know, it, it's all sparkle, it's all magic. There's a kind of music box quality to this. Yes, stuff. but but better. <laughs> I, I, you know, one of my other early memories as a child was watching Fantasia. The, the original Fantasia and what Disney did with, with that music. And you, you see all the sprites and the, and the frost fairies and everything and, and that movement quality, he watched dancers when he made that animation, his animators did. And that, that would be the sort of impression I'd love to give. Well, Molly, I understand you play more than one role, but tell us who you're dressed as today and what is behind this performance. Yes, so I'm in one of the rose tutus. Um, it's from the scene, The Waltz of the Flowers. Um, in this character, um, the movement's very flowy, very soft, very connected. Um, I'll also be performing as the doll in the party scene. Um, and that movement is very different. It's very mechanical and sharp and quick. Um, and I'll also be doing a Spanish couple. And that is fun to do because you have to bring a lot of attitude to the character. So, yeah. What's different about presenting the Nutcracker for Ballet Tucson? Tell us a little something about the energy that goes on behind the scenes to make this ballet come to life. Well, this is the, the one fully professional production. Uh, it is, it is, is the classical interpretation of it, so the traditional. Uh, story of the Nutcracker, the traditional um, manifestation, I would say, of it. And if you, you know, for me, when when it's Christmas time, I, that's what I want. I want the traditions. I want the the memories of childhood. I want the the feelings of a of a night, of a of a Dickens novel in many respects. So I think our production provides that, and it's. It's huge. I mean, it, there are only certain venues that we can really um, put it in. And I, I just think it's the full experience for, for the audience. My guests are dancers Jenna Johnson and Molly Hempfner. Please join us for Ballet Tucson's The Nutcracker, December 7th to the 9th at the Tucson Music Hall. Thank you for watching Spotlight on the Arts.